Hello. Well, it's Ronnie Bell here, and time for the movie review. Well, a couple of weeks back, I went to see Django Unchained. Very good movie by um, Tarantino. Of course, you know that already. And I was going to do a review on that. I was going to do a review on some anime. But then I decided, you know what? Might as well. I thought it was a very good movie. Very well done. Um, usually, when it gets to a point in some movies, I can tell how the plot line is going to go. This one, I had no idea what was going on. Some people say it was too long. I think the time was just right. Because if you just like me, a person who likes watching movies for the storyline... I feel like this. I didn't know I was in there for over um, an hour and a half. So, um, it was a lot of blood. But, hey, I expected that part. Um, one thing I thought was very interesting was that when I started doing my research to give you guys more information on the movie, besides what you already heard, the fact that there were toys made by a company called, what were they called? Uh, I gotta check my notes here, make sure I'm saying this right. Um, there's a toy company called NECA, and they made like less than a thousand toys, and six different figures of the main um, people. There was, um, of course, the toy based on the main characters of uh, Broomhilda, Von Shaft, um, Stefan. The German guy, um, of course, um, Django, and then Schultz, Candy, and Butch. But if you watch the movie, because no spoiler alerts here, I am not telling you. It is awesome. It's th The thing that I, I like about it was that it brings to mind that usually when you go to, um, you know, when you're in school, elementary, pre grade school, they just tell you basically, you know, Christopher Columbus lost his way trying to find a shape of route to India. Then he ended up finding South America, which I don't, I don't know how you're going to find something that's been there this whole time. And people were living there. And then he's going to claim it for Spain. And then, you know, we start learning about North America and the fact that there were already people living there. But, you know, people won't come and put their flag down and this is ours now. And, um, yeah, hand them some bees and let us call it a day because they don't know how to read English so they don't understand the contract that they signed over a treaty, if you want to call it that. So then, and then you go into the wars and then, you know, think of the fact that, you know, when the English came over, then the slaves came over after that. And then you start having the wars, France, England, Britain, people just saying, you know what, let's give them Louisiana. They leave us alone. And then, of course, you got the kicky Native Americans, or the original people of this country, off of their ancestral ancestral land, and then putting them on reservations. And of course, you get those stupid reservation jokes. Anyway, we go from that, and you know, you know, they teach you separately in school that there's the cowboys and the Indians. They don't talk about cowboy Indians and slavery. I thought that was pretty cool. So, you no, know, I have I have a lot to digest on that movie. It it it, it was to me it was deep. Okay, there was some laughs, lots of blood, people dying, but it was a story of you know guy meets girl, guy runs away with girl, guy and girl happen to be slaves, so you know they both get whipped, guy and girl separated, guy. Is, um, becomes a bounty hunter because of a German guy and then they go and find the girl well hopefully trying to get the girl back and th that's the rest of the movie yeah, I ain't gonna tell you the rest you know I'm not gonna actually say it because you know spoiler then people want to talk oh don't make fun of slavery and all that kind of stuff dude I've seen worse movies than this about slavery I tell you when it comes to watching some movies about the Mandingos I'm telling you Mandingo fighting in the U.S. was not pretty. Not pretty. And then I started thinking, you know, Broomhilda's last name is Shaft, and, you know, what if, you know, Django's like, you know, I'm going to call me Mr. Shaft then. And then, you know, I'm just saying, Shaft. <laughs> you know that movie with that bad a black man? 
the P detective turned PI, solving crimes, kicking butt, taking names. <laughs> I'm just saying that would make an awesome family tree. Um, so that's basically I got. I have another separate one on this. Um, on this subject because.